like we do. Killer whales are the largest members of the Delphinidae, or dolphin family. As you can see, they have impressive physical characteristics. Orcas have keen eyesight, both of You know, today is the best day to be a rehabilitator. Today we got to release 10 hip-ridden sea turtles. We are so proud to help animals like sea turtles recover. These 10 sea turtles join the over 2,500 sea turtles that SeaWorld has already helped. However, today, manatees face significant challenges going forward. Rescuing an entire... I've been training animals for 12 years, and I can tell you that being an animal trainer is more than just a job. It truly is a way of life. We dedicate so much of our personal and professional lives to the animals in our care. It's a huge responsibility, but the ultimate privilege be able to care for, teach, learn from, and build strong relationships with these amazing killer whales. We're proud of what we do, and we're excited to share what we've learned through those relationships with all of you today, and for many years to come. We hope you enjoy Orca Encounter!
Now it is important to weigh all of our whales to ensure that the younger ones like Sakari and Kamea are growing appropriately and that our older whales like Takara and Mir are maintaining a healthy weight. All of our husbandry behaviors allow us to ensure that our whales are healthy and thriving. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage our whales in every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales, and for us. Observational learning and mimicry play a critical role within the life of a killer whale. From the moment they are born, they are learning important life skills by watching and playing follow the leader with their mother and other members of the pod. Now right here at SeaWorld, our killer whales get to play follow the leader with us by watching us and mimicking our movements. Now if you take a look down at the glass, our friends Emily and Danny are joined by one of our new friends to help demonstrate some of these behaviors. Now what the first thing we're going to ask Mr. Carr here is to demonstrate a great big wave. Now what's going to happen is our volunteer is going to raise their left arm high into the sky and give Sakari a great big wave. Now as you can see, Sakari was paying very close attention. Kill whales have been seen leaping out of the water or spy hopping to get a better look at their surroundings. Now that type of particular behavior is known as a side and bow. And we're going to see if Sakari is up for giving us an amazing demonstration. Now we're going to watch our volunteer ask for that signal and let's check out what Sakari does. And she's off. She is heading down to the bottom of this 40 foot deep habitat and using the muscles within her peduncle, she's going to lift herself up and out of the water. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Sakari. Woo! Now kill whales can communicate in a variety of different ways. And one of those ways is utilizing vocalizations. We're going to shift over to the right-hand side with our friends Casey and her new volunteer, with Takara, to help demonstrate one of those vocals. Let's check it out, you guys. How cool is that? Now, did you know that scientists believe when a killer whale leaps out of the water and crashes onto the surface, it's a way of communicating and letting their presence be known. You see, sound travels four and a half times faster in water than it does through air. So when a killer whale leaps out of the water and crashes onto the surface, that behavior is known as a breach. And the sound it creates can be heard for miles around. Let's see if Takara is up for demonstrating this high-flying behavior. She saw that signal and she's off. Maneuvering using her pectoral flippers to steer herself throughout her environment and making her way directly in front of the glass. Animals like penguins or seals from ice floes. 
Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tail fins. In the ocean, killer whales play waves to hunt, use fluke slams to stun their prey, and can even beach themselves up and out of the water. For our whales, it's just a fun demonstration. But for you, it's time to get wet. We 
control the future of polar bears and the oceans in our hands.
these animals have inspired you and deepened your appreciation for killer whales, just as they have with all of us. We will continue to learn about these remarkable animals and hope that you do too. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a great rest of your day here at SeaWorld San Antonio. Follow SeaWorld on Facebook and Instagram. Keep track of our latest rescues and find out more about the animals in our care. Thanks again, everyone. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day at SeaWorld. So cute! I love it! 